your scans are clear. Cancer's gone. Are you sure? It's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Admiral. You seem better. Much. Are you still <clears throat> holding the spokesman from the new faction in the brig? Yes. Would you take me to him, please? Certainly. Thank you. I'll wait for you to get dressed. President Roslin. Mr. Yahi, isn't it? I thought it was time we met. Could you open the door, please? Do it. All these people want is to be heard. A member of your group nearly destroyed our Tillium refinery. Before we can even begin to talk, I need your personal assurance that there will be no more attacks. As I told the Admiral, I've had no direct contact Genuine with anyone. negotiations require trust. Do not lie to me. I'll talk to my people. Make them understand. Excellent. And I'll listen. Maybe even act. But if you renegle, insist the Admiral hunt you and your friends down without mercy. You seem very content. Sharon's child is safe. Adama and Rosalind have agreed that more study is required for any drastic measures are taken. Yes, but by saving Rosalind, you've denied yourself your rightful place of leadership. There are many aspects of you guys I will never understand. You wouldn't. Neither would I suspect. Your corporeal counterpart. Do you love her? What is that? A little Roslyn wrote me. To be opened upon the event of her death. President Baltar, I offer my sincere congratulations. Thank you. I say that knowing we've had our differences and that you take office despite my many reservations. You may be the most brilliant person I've ever met, but your intelligence is unleavened by compassion. You must be reminded of your ethical responsibilities and challenged to rise above your own selfish needs. I don't write this to hurt you, but to beg you to open your heart. Understand that the people in the fleet look to you not only for leadership, but for solace, justice. Find a way to give them that, and you will be a great leader, Laura, Rosalind. After all I've done for the fleet, after all I've done for her. Rosalind's never trusted you. She's undermined you at every turn, and now... So now we know she's never going to trust me. This is not a political struggle anymore, guys. This is quite literally life and death.